Hey guys, I'm back with you today to share with you how I'm using the cute little polka dot ribbon that came in the scrapbooking kit from Coco Daisy this month, um, August of 2018. So I have the silver paper clip that I've had forever from Kelly Ava Designs on Etsy and I'm going to use this ribbon and I thought I would make a bow to put at the top of the paper clip and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have a piece of cardboard. This is actually from one of my Daisy Dories that I took apart to put in my rings. Um, so what I'm going to do is put the paper clip there, just hold it there because however wide I cut this cardboard is how wide my bow is going to be. So I'm going to go right about there, try to get it even on both sides. We're going to cut a little square out. It doesn't have to be neat because you're just using this as a guide. And then actually to make sure that it's even, I'm going to go ahead and fold it, make a little crease. So I know that that's the middle. Okay, and I'm going to cut out the center, leaving a little bit at the top. And then this is going to be my template or my guide to make my bow. So what you're going to want to do is start wrapping. And notice um, my raw edge is on this side. It doesn't have to be tight. However many times you wrap this is how kind of thick and fluffy your bow is going to end up. And since my raw side is on this side to my at my beginning, I'm gonna put my raw side over here. Okay, so once you have that wrapped around, you can see my raw edge from where I started is over here and my raw edge from where I ended is over here. You can just use some clips to hold this in place. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, and there's my raw edge. This is what I keep fumbling with. Okay, this is my raw edge. So I want my raw edge to be the back of my bow so you don't see it. So my raw edges I'm going to place down. And then you're going to cut another piece of your ribbon, which I've already done here, for the center and the tail of the ribbon. And you're just going to put that through the hole. And you're going to tie this in a knot. And you want the knot to be on the back with your raw edges so you don't see that part when you're done. And tie to this really tight and I'm actually gonna take some of my hot glue and put that there to kind of hold that in place okay. and I'll want my tails to go down on my bow I'll tie that a little bit tighter okay so I'm gonna Hold that in place a little while while the glue dries so you can see how that's looking. I'm going to take my clips off, slide this off, and that is my bow. Okay, and then this is probably cool enough, yeah, that I can touch it. Get it make a big mess. Okay, so I'm going to cinch that tight again. And then if you have some loops here, from where you wrapped it around, you can go ahead and pull those apart for some added dimension. Okay. And then, so that looks good. I'm gonna use this extra piece of cardboard here just to glue this down. So I'm gonna take my paper clip of choice use smaller ones or bigger ones put some glue on there 
and add my ribbon and then I think I'll carefully peel that off and add some more glue just to hold everything down and then actually I think I'm going to do one other thing so I punched a little circle piece of paper out and I'm just gonna put that on the back just to hold my ribbon and my paper clip together and if that shows on the front of the bow a little bit that's okay with me because I use the pretty Coco Daisy paper so that's what it's looking like so far and then if you want to clean up your edges a little bit you can do that and then I think I'm gonna use these scissors to cut a little V into my ribbon tails. Which I'm not doing very gracefully. But, you know, whatever works. I probably need some smaller scissors, actually. And I'll do this side. There you have it, and I'll show you a picture of how it looks in your planner.